Lori Cataldo. I'm here with Gregory Andrews. Portraits of the Jersey Shore. It's basically like a local take. Uh, everyone's heard of Humans of New York, I think. If you haven't, it's incredible. But yours is even cooler because it's right here. It's basically pictures and stories of complete strangers. What's the motivation behind Portraits of the Jersey Shore? If you take today's culture, you'll see that there's a lot of strife and turmoil and hatred. And it seems like everybody's against each other. And people are yelling at each other. And what we have lost is the idea of listening to each other. And I've come to realize through my, my own unique story that everybody has a story. And everyone's story is what connects us to each other. Every single connection that is made by listening to each other's stories can make us a better community. And that's what I really believe. It's the beauty of the people I'm trying to capture. I'm trying to show that and through I the image. And I feel like until you see it, because it sounds like, all right, well, it's pictures of a person and they're telling a story. But it's... It's so much more than that because you'll start reading it and you get sucked in and you feel like you're a part of this person's life. Yeah. It's yeah. really, it's an incredible thing. Yeah. So we, we've done a few portraits here today. Yes. We, you know, took a handful of people that my coworkers, myself included. Yes. And, uh, it's what a, a story you have, by the way. <laughs> my goodness. It is a moving, it's like a really, it's kind of cathartic. It's, it's interesting. You kind of learn stuff about yourself and you learn stuff about how you see the world. What do you hope that people get out of the experience when you interview them? Actually, honestly, what I get back with feedback from people, which is a lot of people say to me, no one's ever asked me that before. Or, wow, I never knew that I thought that way before. Or, wow, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me because that's all I want. So that's my goal. And the vast majority of the people who share with me what their experience is like tell me that that's what they do actually experience. So, yeah. It really is like a mini therapy session. <laughs> so I know that you have uh, an expo coming up. Uh, the Tom's River Library has allowed me to have an exhibit there um, on uh, for the month of January where I'm going to be having 22 prints, some of the most compelling images and stories uh, hanging on their walls. And on January 7th, from 2 to 4, I'm going to actually be having a meet and greet. And uh, the meet and greet, there's going to be a short documentary on the work that I do. So okay. people are actually going to see me on the boardwalk through this film, uh, interviewing people and things like that. So it's going to be a really good time. If there is like one a person that you could interview, or do you would you rather they just all be random strangers? <laughs> yeah, I, I thank you. Um, I, I really, honestly, the greatest joy is going up to somebody I've never met before and saying, hi, my name is Gregory. I have a page called Portraits of the Jersey Shore, and I interview people. Would you mind if I interview you? You know, and um, what's really interesting is that I would say about seventy-five to eighty percent of people say yes. Um, Which knowing, is interesting. Yeah, yeah, knowing that their picture is going to be on Facebook, thousands of people are going to see it, and uh, and the stories are. I mean, sometimes they're incredibly personal. Yeah, yeah. Um, another thing about my perspective is that every single person I meet has dignity, and. Every single story they share with me, whether if it's a person who is living in someone's car because they're strong out on heroin at 21 years old, or if they're sprawling on the street of Atlantic City because, and they're dying because of alcoholism, or if it's somebody who, you know, is a local celebrity. Whatever the story is, regardless, it's sacred to me. Every single story is of equal value to me, and every single one is sacred to me. There is nothing that is irrelevant or undignified because their stories matter. My whole passion is just to be an ear for them and just to listen to them and let them know that they're not being judged that they're safe and, i think that's interesting because you know, people don't listen yeah they don't people too often will um tell you what they think and, we talked about this during yeah, my interview yeah. yeah and the thing is if sometimes unfortunately if you don't agree with what they think then you get into arguments and so then what you're doing is you're telling them your point of view and they're telling you their point of view and you guys are talking over each other instead of just simply saying so what do you think so, or, and or why do you think that? Yeah, or, yeah. It's called to dig deeper because you don't stop at the one question. Asking and there's also a difference between asking those questions because you genuinely want to know and asking those questions because you're nosy or prying. Right. I think there's the delivery of the question as well. Yeah. Is there anything that you want people to know about portraits? I mean, they can obviously check you out on yeah. Facebook, Portraits of the Jersey Shore. I just got my first website. My is the website, portraitsofthejerseyshore.com. Uh, go to my Facebook page, follow, just hit the like button. Say if somebody is dying to be in a photo and they are dying to share their story. I mean, you don't set up interviews. It's kind of when you're just like out and about and you're yeah. looking for people, right? Yeah, exactly. So they never know where you're going to be. You know, I'm thinking about changing that. I'm thinking about once in a while. Like, I remember, like, um, it was at the end of September, posted that morning, 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to go to Cape May, Wildwood, and Ocean Ocean City. And I went down there. I spent, a, a, like, the entire day down there. I met some amazing people. So I'm thinking of maybe going more in the, in the direction of, like, maybe just letting people know it in advance where I'm going to be. And you go, I mean, when you say Jersey Shore, you are 
top to bottom. Yep, Sandy Hook all the way down to Cape May. And uh, I've hit every um, almost every single spot along the way. It's just such a cool project. Thank and I mean, I, I don't want to tell people to like seek you out and look for you, but I really I, I wish that everyone could have a chance to to do the interviews because it's such an eye opening thing and it's such a cool thing. And as someone who has read the stories before even doing this and knowing what my reaction has been to other people's stories, it's so cool to think about what someone's reaction to, could be to my story mm. or to our coworker's story. I know it's just like it's such a cool thing. Can I just say something about that? The people who have followed my page are some of the most open-minded, compassionate, sympathetic, non-judgmental, loving people of a community you would ever want to be a part of. It's just so cool. They really get it. And it's, it's like it's like literally, and I tell people, I'm like, just so you know, like whatever your story is, like the people have already heard this and this and this and this and this story, and they were just so encouraging. And I'm so proud to be a part of it. So awesome. So I know I mentioned in the beginning, so there's humans of New York. Have you ever talked to the the guy that's behind that? Because I mean you're you're doing okay. a very similar project. So this is the amazing thing. Yeah. I've never met or talked to Brandon Stan, but there is actually a movement called Humans of. There are humans of pages all over the world. And there is a page for the humans of admins called Humans for Humans which I'm a part of. So on any given day, I'll talk to people who live in Dubai, in Sydney, Australia, and we'll talk to each other about what we're experiencing, questions that we might have, and we're such a supportive community that are there for each other. So that's one of the really incredible benefits of being a part of this, is just being a part of a worldwide community of people who have the same passion that I do and just want to hear people's stories. And knowing that they all have groups where people are intent on listening and understand the importance of listening. So there is hope yes. that one day the world could be full of but listeners. I, but I may, but I may say this, and yeah. I will say this. I've been to those pages in other cities. People can still get a little cheeky in other cities. There, are, there can be like brawls that can still, unfortunately, because you're in cities and stuff like that. The Jersey Shore is not a city. Like we're a very, very tight knit community, and I really believe that the people who live at the Jersey Shore are, is a special breed of people, and we look out for each other. Like we're all in this together. Like we've been through the hurricanes together. You know, we've been through all these things together. And we're here for each other. And I got to say that this community is special. Jersey's the best. It I is. think, you know what? I want to just end best. it right there because that was a, that's an awesome way to, to wrap it up. And you are an awesome DJ and you carry us <laughs> through the day. So thank you, Laurie Cataldo. I, or I really had such a blast being part of this whole experience. And uh, again, you're on uh, Portraits of the, of the Jersey Shore dot com. Or our Facebook page. Just on plug Facebook. in Portraits of the Jersey Shore. You got to check it out. It really is the very coolest thing. And we have more up at 94throughthepoint.com. Please check it out. Uh, it's just been an incredible experience. So Gregory Andrus, thank you so much.